a man put a $100 note in the tea. However when he pulled the note out again the brand new note instantly turned into an old one. Realizing that this method would work the two brothers threw all the notes into the tea. Then they pulled them out and hung them on a string. They used a hairdryer to dry the notes one by one. The reason they did this was because the notes were all freshly made counterfeits. They thought it was easier to fake old notes than new ones. In order to check if these fake bills worked David went to a supermarket to shop. But when the owner took his fake notes he realized something was wrong. He grabbed David's arm and wouldn't let him go. When his brother Matt saw what was happening he rushed to help. He grabbed David and started running as fast as he could. Eventually the two brothers ran into a narrow alleyway and lost the group behind them. They didn't realize that the counterfeit money they had worked so hard to make would be recognized in an instant. But the brothers didn't give up. They learned a lesson from this failure. They realized that the main reason for their failure was the paper. Because the real banknotes are made of cotton pulp paper. It's completely different from other papers. That's how the bosses knew they were fakes as soon as they touched the notes. So the brothers started looking around for similar paper. Finally they found a magazine that had a paper that was similar to the cotton paper used for the real bills. So Matt bleached the paper with bleach. And then he drew the same pattern on it that he had drawn on the real bills. The stencils were carefully carved and painted then sanded and baked. And that's how they made the template for the banknote. Then they reproduced the template on the paper. And then the fake banknotes are produced. And finally they make the security strips. But this was no problem for them. They found that the strips were universal. By removing the strips from a $10 note and placing them on their fake bills, even the bill checker couldn't recognize it. So the two brothers went to the supermarket again. They wanted to test the upgraded fake notes to see if they worked. 